there, sports fans and car enthusiasts. Welcome to the channel. It's been a little while since I've done a little bit of a card reveal of recent pickups, so I figured I'd do one of those videos for you guys right now. Uh, these are from a couple different places. I've gone to an antique store where I found a couple of baseball or a handful of baseball cards, and uh, so got some more pickups from a uh, recent Twin Oaks card show. So I'm going to show those off to you right now. All right, ladies and gents, here we go. So these first, first batch of cards I picked up at an antique, kind of an antique mall uh, in northern Washington, I'd say about a month or so ago. So these were all in a dollar bin. Couldn't pass these up. I got a Bobby Bonilla rookie card from Topps Traded, a 1987 Fleer Nolan Ryan, an 86 Roger Clemens Fleer, 85 Earl Hershiser Donruss uh, rookie card. There's an 85 Alvin Davis Donruss rookie card. There's an 85 Donruss Tony Gwynn. 85 Donruss Nolan Ryan. 82 Donruss George Bell rookie card. And a 1982 Donruss Diamond Kings Nolan Ryan. Each of those for a buck. Couldn't really pass that up. Also there was this 1970, or sorry, uh, 1980, 81, um, Larry Bird rookie card on its own. Uh, the asking price originally for this, somebody wanted like $120, um, but it had been marked down, and I actually talked the guy into giving it to me for a whopping, I think $35 is what I paid for this. So great pickup. The card's super clean. I just got to get out of this god-awful you know, screw-down case because that's horrible for the card. But there's the back of it as well. Uh, so this is one of several uh, Larry Bird rookie cards. There's... Also, the Larry Bird Magic Johnson rookie card, which I have in an SGC grade. Um, but that's uh, not a bad pickup for, you know, $35 at all. So I'm happy with that. And then here's, in no particular order, there is another big stack of cards here I'll show you. These all came from uh, the Twin Oaks card show and a couple of different uh, uh, vendors there. So I got this uh, mint graded nine uh, Randy Johnson rookie card from PGC. Not bad. I right, throw that in as a you know giveaway to somebody in a future episode. Here's a Lee Smith rookie card um, for just a whopping two dollars from 1982 tops. Here's uh, let me see. Let's separate these out because there's a few of these cards in here. Yeah, let me separate those. These came from one vendor. I uh, got a. Steve Carlton and Nolan Ryan, 72 strikeout leaders from 73 tops. Uh, I think that was, I got that for like three bucks, four bucks. There's a 1965 Brooks Robinson, you know, pretty cool card there. This one, I think I got for 20, maybe 15. I can't remember. Here's another Brooks Robinson from 1971 tops. Pretty nice shape. Those are those dodgy black borders of 71 tops. This was listed as 12. I think I got it for maybe eight or 10. Can't remember. Here's a 1965 Ernie Banks uh, card that I got for ten dollars. You know, not the best condition. Some of the corners are a little bit ding, but still nice presentation for that. That's the, what the back looks like there. Got a 1972 Topps Hank Aaron in action card in pretty nice shape, a little off center left to right, but you know six dollars for that couldn't pass that up. Here's a 1980 Topps Rod Carew All Star card. Just got for a whopping two dollars. 1980 Johnny Bench. I got this for actually two bucks as well. Here's a 1980 Pete Rose. I got this for I think four bucks, five bucks. Again, make deals with a lot of folks. And 1980 Tops Ricky Henderson rookie card. Off center left to right, but this is going this and also the Rose and the Bench and the Carew, I believe, are all going in a 1980 Tops complete set that I'm building right now. And that I'm probably thinking about giving away maybe at our thousand subscribers. So, um, Somebody might walk away with a full 1980 Tops set. Now, pushing those aside, this is from another vendor at the Twin Oaks Card Show, and these are amazing deals. So some of the prices you see here, absolutely not what I paid. They had a weird kind of deal, well, not weird, awesome kind of deal going on where any card that was $6 or less was being offered for a dollar. Any card that was eight, seven or $8 was being offered for $2. And the rest of the cards that were you know above that were... Um, half price of what you're seeing here so start off with i got a tony dorsett rookie card for eight dollars not, not 16 but eight dollars could not pass that up 
Here's an Eddie Murray rookie card from 1978 Tops. Uh, I got that for, that was $11, I think, so $22. Got that for $11. Here's a 1973 Tops Jim Palmer, got for $1. 1981 Fleer Nolan Ryan for $1. Here's an 83 Fleer Nolan Ryan for $1. 1985 Don Mattingly second year card, I uh, got that for a whopping dollar. Here's an 87 Fleer Nolan Ryan for a dollar. I got some, some more of those um, pretty awesome, you know, 1980, 81 tops um, uh, basketball cards. I always love this style of the basketball cards with the tri, the tri folds with the perforation. But this is uh, has Maury's Cheeks on it. I got that for a buck. Here's a 1986 tops uh, John Elway for a dollar. Here's a 1987 tops. Joe Montana, got that for a dollar. Here's a second year, 1986 Tops Warren Moon, so I got that for a dollar. How about a 1988 Tops Jerry Rice second year card for, or actually, that, yeah, is that 87? That's 88, so this is actually third year card, I think. Um, for, got that for a dollar. Here's a Vinny Testaverde rookie card I got for a dollar. Got this 1971 AFC rushing leaders from 72 tops for got this for a dollar. It's got Larry Zonka and Floyd Little and Marf Hubbard. All three were great actually on that. Here's a Jim Kelly rookie card from 1988 tops. Um, got that for a whopping buck. But an OJ Simpson 77 highlights from 78 tops card. I got this for a whopping buck as well. That was six, so that's what that was a buck. There's some more, another basketball card here. Uh, this has Norm Nixon, Daryl Dawkins on it. Two really good players there. Got that for a buck. And an Irving Fryer rookie card from 86 Tops. Uh, got that for a buck. About another uh, 8081 uh, Tops. This has Maury's Cheeks on it. No different one there. Got that for a buck. Here's another one. This has uh, Calvin Murphy, Bobby Wilkerson on it. Mike Mitchell. You get another one here that is uh, Robert Parrish on that one. Uh, Leonard Robinson, Dwight Jones, also pretty good players too. Here's yet another one. I got Reggie Theus on that one. Robert Reed, Wes Unsold, re rebounding leader card. Pretty cool. Yet one more here. I got uh, Elvin Hayes, Don Busey. Got that for a buck. I got, oops, I'm dropping my cards here behind it. So I got a 1981 Tops Dwight Clark. Uh, I believe that's his rookie card. Got that for a buck. I think it's his rookie. It's either his rookie or second here. I got a 1987, right? 80, uh, bad with football. Yep, 87 tops. Jim Kelly, uh, another rookie card that was for, I think I got that one. This one, I think I got for five, maybe four. Um, here is a, uh, Jerry Rice, another one of those. For, got that for $2. Here's a 1985 Tops John Elway I got for a whopping buck. I got a David Robinson rookie card for a buck. I got a John Riggins. I think that's his rookie card. Yeah. John Riggins running back for the Jets. Really great running back from 72 Tops. Uh, yeah, I got that for $6. And lastly, for a whopping $2, couldn't pass it up. Got an 89 uh, Hoops Michael Jordan for a whopping two dollars so that's it folks made some really good deals there i think so uh let me know what your favorite card was in the comments below uh me personally i, I do like the D tony dorsett rookie card and the hendo for the uh set that i'm building those are i think my two favorites but let me know what your two favorites are in the comments below and uh you know let me know uh what kind of great deals you guys find out there picking up some great cards um other than that thanks for watching and we'll see you next time